Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth part of my Gmod LeWitt tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over tables. Um, a quick explanation on what tables are and why you would want to use them. It's a nice way to keep data organized. Um, for example, like an inventory is a table. Um, typically a configuration file is a table. Um, a store, whenever you're going to see a list of items, those are all stored in a table. So there's a lot of reasons why you want to use a table and I strongly recommend that you use a table. Um, and in all the cases that you can because it's just there's a lot of power behind it so like anything um, a table can either be global or local um, and so I'm going to be giving a demonstration of a global table because I'm going to give a demonstration on how to make a, uh, a or config file for our add-on that we have been making for the last uh, six parts now um, so whenever you write this name of the table you're going to want to make sure it's very unique um, since it is going to be global and you don't want anything to be overwriting it. So to begin, whenever you create a table, you're just going to write uh, something unique. My add-on underscore config so equals table. So right now, if I save this, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to say, hey, we now have a table. We've set this aside. But we can put some values in it. I'm going to show you about three different ways to do the same thing. Um, but a quick introduction on to what tables actually hold. You have something called keys. And then you have values. So if I go in here and I just write, hi, hello, um, sup, right? So I got three values in here. This is the first value, this is the second, and this is the third. Um, for each value, there's a key, but right now you can't necessarily see it, but just know whenever you write a table, there are going to be keys and they're going to start from one. So if I go ahead and write print table, my add on, score config, save it. Go on game, you can see, hi, hello, sup, hi, hello, sup. And the reason why you see it twice is because it's running it for both the server and the client, which is something you typically want to do for your config files so you can access in both realms. Um, so you can see the first value is hi, second value is hello, third value is sup. So what if I go and write it like this? My add-on on a config, oops, that. Say one equals hi, and then we'll say, Hello, sup, and then two, three, we're going to save it. Boom. It is now the same. I wrote it the same exact way as this way. However, I just didn't include the key values. Um, I specifically specify the key values to be one, two, and three. But in here, whenever you don't write the key values, it automatically puts it in for you. So I could actually go in here and I could write 10, 20, 30 and then save it. Now you can see 10, 20, 30. We get hi, hello, sup. Versus if we didn't put anything, it'd be one, two, and three. There's a really good way to make use of these keys because they can be actually anything. It doesn't have to be a number. It doesn't have to be a string. It'd be in a function. It can be pretty much anything. And having that said, we can create a really nice structured config file. So how we can do that is we can write my underscore add on underscore config equals table. And then in here we can put, um, I don't know, title equals my awesome add-on. Also, whenever you put in a value, I haven't really specified this, but you're gonna wanna make sure you put a comma after each one. You don't have to do it for the last value, but it's just good to have it um, so you don't forget the next time around. So we can just put a comma. Uh, so right now we have the key, which has the value of title. I could actually write this as this as well, if necessary, um, excuse me, not like that, like this. And that'll still be the same thing, and I'll show you that in a second. At title, um, I don't know, author equals Dan FMN. Um, I don't know, uh, part equals six. So now I'm gonna go ahead and print this table, save it. And then you can see we got author, part, title. Now that's really sweet. So let's say in our, 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 our server, whenever the files load, we wanna print out print um, our, or we can just say add-on has loaded, and then we go concatenation, say my underscore add-on config, and now this time we're not going to print the entire table, we're going to pr print a specific value from it. So how this works is you have the name of the table that you're going to start with. This is like your highest level. Then you're going to go down into a lower level and pull a key from within the table. So in this case, I'm gonna pull the title 
So I can either do dot notation, I can say I can index it by saying dot title, and I go ahead and save it. You can see it says awesome, or sorry, no, awesome add-on has loaded my awesome add-on. Now, another way to write this, we can also go like this and we say title and save it. Now you can see add-on has loaded my awesome add-on. So that's a really uh, good thing to know because whenever you're looking at other people's code, they might use both. Uh, they might use one over the other. So do know whenever you see these little brackets right here, if I can highlight them, this is referencing a key. Typically, whenever you see a dot, it is also referencing a key. So you got to understand what you're reading and what you're looking at sometimes. Uh, so that's definitely a quick way to identify that you're working with a table. Um, and so if we go ahead and we can change this to author and save it, you can see add-on has loaded Dan FMN. Okay, that's great. I'm going to show you a quick way to actually rewrite this as well. I'm going to go right back to title because it just makes more sense in this case. I'm going to say my underscore add-on underscore config equals, and then here I'm going to actually put title equals my awesome add-on, and then in control D, control D, say author, and then we'll change this to part, and then we'll set this to the values, six, and this was Dan FMN. Okay, now, so go ahead, save this. See, add-on has loaded my awesome add-on. So these two are identical. These two up here are identical. So there's multiple ways to write it. It's just pretty much preference at this point. Um, and some things to consider, whenever you have a table structured like this, where you just have simply a key, then you have a value, a key and a value, or key and a value, that is a, a two-dimensional table. There are, you can put tables within tables, but that gets a little bit complicated. I'm gonna go ahead and show that in a later video, but this is just a quick introduction to tables and how they would work. Um, I, I guess a, a quick way that I could show you on how, theoretically, how you would create an inventory with this, because I know that was something I struggled with whenever I first started. I was like, how the hell am I gonna make an inventory? Uh, if you ever have the player object, you can say POI inventory equals table. So the player itself is pretty much a table, and then we can put our own key values into it. We could say, all right, so we have this player object, and we're gonna say the key value inventory is gonna be a table, and then we can store values in that. Um, but I, I'll get more into that specifically when I do make an inventory. But if you guys do have a basic understanding of tables, but you don't necessarily understand how to make an inventory, that would be the way to do it. Next, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how we can override and update these uh, values. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the title of add-on. Um, or our add-ons config. So I can say my add-on dot config title equals, and we'll say um, part six Lua tutorial. Okay. And then we'll save it. Open this up. So see add-on has loaded part six Lua tutorial. What if I go ahead and I say my add-on config dot, or not dot, we'll say title equals uh, part six awesome. Lua tutorial, okay? All right, now we load that. Add-on has loaded part six, awesome Lua tutorial. So you can see that it has updated, um, regardless of how we write this. And we can actually append values into this. So um, right now we have a part, we have an author, we have a title. Uh, I don't know, let's have, uh, hmm, we can make a description. Add-on config dot uh, description equals, and we'll say uh, this is a really, Awesome video. Save it. Okay. Now you can see it's loaded. And whenever we print that table, we get author description. This is a really awesome video. Part six, title part six, awesome little tutorial. So that is pretty much it. That is a quick introduction on how to write tables, how to view different key values, um, and just kind of update them. Um, so if you guys have any questions, because this is a really, really important topic. If you guys are going to other understand anything, I really hope it is this. So please feel free to ask any questions about this uh, because this is really, really, really useful to know. So uh, thank you guys so much. Make sure to like and subscribe. And then always, as always, take care.